Okay, this one's about uh, batteries. Uh, short uh, overview, 15K inverter charger. Uh, I now have three EG4 14.4 uh, batteries. Uh, I was planning on putting uh, four of them and I've only got three. So why have I only got three? Well, uh, now first go over this. I figured, I started out with two batteries and have these two right here. And uh, just to see how it's going to do. I did not think that was going to be enough battery backup, you know, looking at uh, my past usage and so on. Because uh, I want this to be able to back up overnight uh, when there's no sunshine. So that I am using solar during the day uh, to operate my house. And then at night, it's also charging the batteries when it's uh, uh, during the day. And then at night, the batteries will operate the house. That has actually worked out okay. But I figured I was going to need at least four batteries for backup because when the uh, when the summer's over I will probably have installed a heat pump. Because my house right now everything is operated off of solar with the exception of the uh, heat and the hot water heating. Neither one of those has, has been changed over to electric, so it will operate off solar. Uh, I probably will not change the water heater out. It's a natural gas water heater. The, the heat is also natural gas. I probably won't change that out simply because our our gas bill for hot water is only about ten dollars a month, and even with the higher rates that, that we have now, it still isn't hardly worth it to change it because it's going to cost over two thousand dollars to put in a water heater heat pump. So uh, I am going to put in a heat pump to take care of the heating, uh, the space heating of the, of the structure. So I figured I'd need four. Well, I didn't get four. I got three. I actually had these two, and I added one more. Now, if you look close at this thing, this one is different than these two. These two were the first types of EG4s to come out. They're good for outside. They can be installed outside or inside either one. This one here, which is actually the same size as these two, same capacity, uh, this is inside. And because this is in my garage, inside is fine. Uh, this one's actually even a little easier to live with. It's got a nice little read out there that you can get to and tell where everything's at. Okay, why did I only put three? Well, <sighs> If I put four, the bus bars on these batteries are capable of handling 600 amps. If I put four batteries in, I'll exceed the 600 amp bus bar capacity of these batteries. So, I mean, the, the batteries are wired in parallel. Obviously, they have to be, but uh, what I'm going to be required to do is put a box here uh, that is a bus bar. Okay, it's about, when you put the breakers and everything in it, it's about $1,100. That's in addition to the uh, 3300 plus 100 for uh, the battery. It's not that I won't do 
won't put that in. One thing I'm not really sure why it needs to be there. If anybody can tell me why I need that bus bar there, I don't know. Because I, I don't understand why it's necessary. The 15K uh, will only take 280 amps. It won't take any more than that. Breaker kicks it off. These things have their own breakers in them for their maximum. I think that one's 125. I can't remember what the other ones are. But they all have their breakers and I can't come up with any way that the bus bar would be overloaded. You know, the bus bar on this one here is the one that is, is loaded the most. But it can't have more than 280 amps, which is well within what uh, its capacity is. 600 uh, amps. So I don't understand that. If anybody can figure that out for me, great. But I have a space here that may be occupied by this monster bus bar that seems to be required. I'm not going to do that this year because I've already maxed out. Uh, if I put the heat pump in, I've already maxed out everything that I can get my 30% off. Because I'm doing this all, I try not to put more money in uh, above what I pay in taxes. Uh, no, I don't not pay any taxes. Yes, I still pay taxes. There's, there's more to it than that. But, but I want to take advantage, the best advantage of, as I can, of the incentives that are, that are there now. So I'm going to take advantage of those uh, every year. And if I put the heat pump in, in addition to putting this battery in, uh, that's pretty much maxed out what I could get this year. And you can carry it over to the next year, but I don't want to just start carrying more and more over every year. And, you know, it does impact finances a bit too. But this is what I've done. We'll see how this works out. Uh, so far, you know, it's springtime, May. Uh, it's been working beautifully. I, the batteries don't drop very far overnight. I usually uh, have maybe somewhere between 10 and 18 kilowatts used overnight, depending on you know what what is necessary. Sometimes I'm charging the car, and, and that makes a pretty big difference. But these are easily handling it. They are catching up. And figure the way this works. Uh, I run completely on solar pretty much until the sun goes down. Now that's partly sunny days, you know, sometimes a little bit pulled out of batteries if there's a little bit more power coming in from the house and then it's put back in again. By the time the sun goes down, I'm almost certainly at 100%. And in fact, right now it's about, oh, let's see, what is it? It's 10, 15, I am at 99% on the batteries. And this is a partly sunny day. Uh, so I've dropped them down that 10 to 18 kilowatts overnight and they're charged up uh, by 10, 15 in the morning. So, um, it's handling it beautifully uh, the way it is. It may handle it fine when I put in the heat pump. I've done some numbers on it. It looks like it's going to be pretty close. And so I will pretty much be zeroed out. If I correct my numbers, I will be zeroed out for the utility uh, on a normal day. Now, in the winter when we have especially December and January, uh, I'll probably be in a little bit of a deficit there where I'll be using some of the uh, utility power. But anyway, that, I just want to go over what was going on with these batteries. Uh, I'll be talking more about the heat pump uh, and how this, this whole system works. It is working pretty good. It's, 
it's doing what I wanted it to do, and uh, so far I'm satisfied with the way it's set up. Anyway, that's it on this one. Uh, I'll be talking more about this uh, throughout the summer probably. That's it on this one.